Hey, 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 welcome to another video of mine. Today I'm talking about Fire Plume's Heart Warrior deck, like the quest, new quest deck of Warrior. It's just so good, so much fun to play with. And of course, I know I know what you're thinking. You're like, why would I watch your video? I can just copy Show deck. Show got rank one legend with this deck. Here it is, actually. You can copy it. There's also this guy. He also got rank one legend with it. You could also copy this guy's deck. That's all great. But I just want to talk about some individual cards, how they synergize, how to play them. Because the meta is always changing, so maybe this isn't the best deck anymore. Maybe there's different decks, different cards, with slightly different cards. The same deck, but some different cards that are better. So I just want to talk about some of the synergy cards in this deck. Some of the choices you can make, so you can make your own deck. Maybe you don't even have all of these cards. But let's go over some of these cards. If you fulfill this quest by playing 7 Tom Ninjas, you get Sephiroth. First is right over here, a weapon, 3 mana for 2 weapon, which is fine, which is fine. But it gives you permanently the hero power of Ragnaros. 2 mana do 8 damage randomly. This is a great hero power, obviously. So, how do you build a deck around it? Now, first of all, you put a lot of Tom means in your deck, so you can actually fulfill the quest. Second of all, you need to play a lot of removal in your deck, so you can remove the small minions, and then leave the big minions for die insect to kill. So that's why you see a lot of whirlwinds, you see a lot of sleep with the fishes, uh, brawls, even deathwing. So let's go over some of these cards. Like if you look at my deck, this is the deck I'm playing right now. There's a few nice synergies in this deck. First of all, the whirlwind with die insect is great because you want to kill all the small minions. So your hero power can deal with the big minions. You don't want to die insect at 1-1. One, one. Whirlwind, battle rage, acolyte of pain. Ravaging Ghoul, they all synergize, everyone knows this. In my deck, that you see right here, there has a lot of cheap cheap taunts, like Tar Creeper, like Dirty Rat. So these cheap taunts, they get damage and then Battle Rage will always at least draw you two cards off and more. The lot thing Berserker is in my deck even. It's especially great because a lot of these quest decks, they remove the removal. A lot of these combo decks, they don't have removal for Flaw thing Berserker. Because they remove the removal to put in the cards they need for the quest. So if your frothing berserker won't be killed by a removal card, they have to trade into it. But they cannot trade into your frothing berserker because you have a lot of taunts in the way. And the more they try to trade, the bigger frothing berserker get. And then you play one of your whirlwinds or your ghouls and you just win the game. I've won so many games with frothing berserker like that. I know a guy is great. Find one of these town minions that you need. You often have one mana floating somewhere. I really like one I know a guy in the deck. Execute is of course necessary for any 5 mana 8 8 minions. This includes the quest minions, but it also means the Hydra. Bitter Tide Hydra. If you don't have an answer, it's gonna hurt. Thanos is nice. It's not that great in this deck right now because we only have Slam and whirlwind if you have sleep with the fishes though it's probably worth it if you have six cards in your deck that benefit of spell power is worth it i think also he will cycle anyway so you can always cycle through your deck get those taunts get die insect win the game dirty rat is a great card it wins you against combo decks if you play against a quest mage you need dirty rat you need to either pull out antonitis or a sorcerer's apprentice else they will kill you in one turn and there's nothing you can do. You can never kill them before they kill you. Dirty Red is the only way to win it. The other way is Flawling Berserker, if you play. Stonehill Defender is a must because it gives you two taunts or sometimes even more. Sometimes you go Stonehill Defender into Stonehill Defender into Stonehill Defender. It's great. It gives you a lot of taunts. It fulfills your quest much easier. Tor Creeper is just is a solid taunt for three mana. I like it better than Second Red Bruiser. Second Red Bruiser is actually often not even three mana. Often I just pay five mana for it. What about the dinosaurs? I play the dinosaurs because I play the curator. I actually want to play one more dragon in this deck. Dire Horn Hatchling is great because when it dies it shuffles another beast with taunt in your deck so if you first draw these two dinosaurs and then you draw your curator you can still draw this beast dire horn that shuffled in your deck you can draw it with the curator so you always get value with curator this drake is okay the two damage aoe is great because it kills the small minions it's great for your die insect hero power as well as it's a taunt it's a dragon so you you can play curator with it so you could play this dragon twice but i rather prefer maybe just once and a deathwing deathwing is great because it clears the board and then you can use your die insect not the same turn but the next turn to kill whatever he plays deathwing is better in this deck than any other deck ever before because normally you just have armor up after you deathwing 
maybe a weapon and armor up with Traferus you have your weapon if you haven't used it and you have die insect it's much better than armor up let's talk about a few other cards you can all of course play shield block shield slam so you can make this deck two ways you can either put a lot of cheap taunt minions and get your Traferus early Flooding berserk is so good in that or you can go for expensive taunt minions with like armor gain and removal, shield block, shield slam, execute of course. With the curator always drawing two cards, you get a lot more consistent late game with it. But the deck strengths are different against different type deck. And it's for you to figure out against which decks are stronger. Meta is still changing a lot. So there's still a lot to learn. Let me talk about Cornered Sentry. It's really great if you have an Acolyte on board. You can draw a card immediately from your Acolyte. It's also great with Frothing Berserker on board and maybe a Ravaging Ghoul or a Whirlwind. It just kills everything. Your Frothing Berserker becomes a lot stronger. Just get some extra free attack and it's a really nice combo. Of course, another really good synergy with it is brawl you play it with brawl it's much more likely that you actually kill the big minions that matter of your opponent however i like dirty red better it just works better with brawl and i love these other cards as well but i often pay corner sentry from one of the discover mechanics if i think i need it ellie armor smith is really good if you play a lot of these uh, if you play shield slam abomination might be good i haven't tried it yet but just the aoe that clears all the small minions is again very good with die insect giant mastodon is of course cute but that's about it what cards do you play in your warrior quest deck and how does it synergize why do you play that card what does it counter which decks does it counter did you think about it well please let me know i'm always open to learn about the game and we have of course a lethal puzzle at the end here is the situation our opponent has two cards in hand he has 16 life he has a secret up it's snake's trap we actually already know which cards he has in his hand. Kill Command and Ellie Cat. He has a Ball Creeper on board. However, we have a Frothing Berserker, Stonehill Defender, another Stonehill Defender, and a Tar Creeper on board. Of course, we have some cards in our hand as well. And we have a Hero Power, Die Insect. 10 mana available. We have Wolf Rider, Gore Howl, Primordial Drake, Dirty Rat, Gromash, Hellscream, Fiery War Axe, and Mortal Strike in our hand. We have Lethal this turn. This, uh, that's a puzzle. We have lethal, do you spot how? Of course we win this game in the long run anyhow. That's beside the point, we have lethal this turn. That's the puzzle. Can you spot it? Leave a comment below. Please subscribe. See you in the next video.